In this video, I will model using the library's OneSearch tool to find sources for a research paper. The example I will use is a research paper focused on labor leader and farm worker rights activist Cesar Chavez's famous speech, his 1984 address to the Commonwealth Club of San Francisco. This research paper assignment requires the student to use a variety of sources, including books and articles, to support their ideas. So for this assignment, I think I would like to proceed by first finding some background information about the life and work of Cesar Chavez before I move on to finding information about his Commonwealth Club speech specifically, okay? So here I am at OneSearch, um, which is right on the library homepage, csumb.edu slash library. So I know that OneSearch is the place to look for books, articles, DVDs, streaming media, um, just about anything owned by the library. So I'm going to start just by typing Cesar Chavez's last name, Chavez, into the search box and let's see what I get. Okay, so looking at just these first few results, I'm noticing that the first one appear is an article and appears to be about undocumented immigrants and their use of medical services. So I'm not sure what that has to do with Cesar Chavez. I'm noticing that the author is Leo Chavez. Um, the second one is definitely related to my topic, but the third one, again, screen time by author Adrian Chavez. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, maybe because I just typed the author or the person's last name in, um, I'm getting things that are about him, but that were also written by anybody named Chavez. So I'm going to go ahead and revise my search a little bit and put in his first name. And let's try this again. Okay, so this list of results looks a lot better. This looks more like the kind of information that I'm looking for. So I see right away the first result is a book called An Organizer's Tale, Speeches. So right now I'm looking for background information about Cesar Chavez, but when I move on to researching the Commonwealth Club speech, I suspect this is going to be a really useful source because it is about his speeches. I'm noticing that it's actually written by him, so it should contain the full text of the speech. I see that it's available at the Monterey Bay Library book stacks. It has a call number, which means I should be able to go up to the second or third floor and get the book right here in our library. So I'm going to save this one to come back to it later. In order to do that, I click the little pin. And when you want to pin something, it's a good idea to be signed in up here in the upper right hand corner, because if you do that, then you know that the thing that you're pinning will be there if you come back to it and if you log out and then come back to it in a day or a week or whenever. So, OK, so I've got that one saved for later. The next book I'm noticing is called Organizing for Our Lives. New Voices from Rural Communities. Um, this looks like an interesting one. I'm going to pin it too. After that, I've got an encyclopedia entry about Cesar Chavez from the Encyclopedia of World Biography, which I know probably will contain some basic information about his life and work, but I'm looking for something in a little bit more in-depth than an encyclopedia entry right now, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so this next one looks interesting. Result number four here. Um, it says it's a book. The title of it is Cesar Chavez. It was published in 2010, and it says full text available, so I'm guessing maybe that's an ebook. I'm going to click on the title to get more information about the book. So what I see here, first of all, uh, the full text is available at ProQuest eBook Central Academic Complete. So that's great. That means I can just click on this link and get to the full text of the eBook and read it online. But first, I want to know a little bit more about this book. So if I look at this section here under details, um, I'm noticing that it contains some subjects. So it tells me that it is about Cesar Chavez. It's about the history of the United Worker, the United Farm Workers. Um, it is contains biographical information about labor leaders, probably Cesar Chavez, maybe others. Um, biographical information about Mexican American Mexican American migrant ag agricultural laborers, and so on. 
I'm also noticing under notes here, it says offers critical assessments of the life of Cesar Chavez that utilizes different approaches to understanding his life, including cultural studies critiques, a historical narrative, and eulogies following his untimely death. It includes personal reflections that explore his religiosity, his role as an everyman, and the decline of the United Farm Workers Union. So, huh. Okay, so this appears to me to be a rich resource that pulls together sort of different perspectives on his life and work. So this is a source that I'm definitely interested in for my project. Um, I think what I will do at this point is conclude um, searching for sources on the computer, um, go upstairs, get those two print books, open up this ebook and start reading and learning and see where my research takes me before I proceed with doing a search on Cesar Chavez Commonwealth Club specifically. Um, it may well be that the sources that I've already found contain useful information about his Commonwealth Club address or the, the information that I learn might prompt me to do research about specific aspects of the Commonwealth Club address. And when I do a second round of research, one thing that I might do, because so far I have all books and my assignment did require me to use a variety of sources, is I might limit my search to articles. So notice over here under Refine By, I can limit my search to peer-reviewed journals or just to articles in general. I might, in this case, limit to articles since that might bring up newspapers and things like that. I could choose to limit to a certain date range. So if I was just interested in articles published um, shortly after the speech was given, I could do that. So lots of options for creating a nice focused search once I've engaged with these background sources and figure out where, figured out where I really want to go with my paper. So I will wrap up here. Thank you for watching.